Good morning everyone and welcome to another museum crazy vlog here on Coastal Crazy. You may be thinking, where's Andy? Well, guess what? I'm here! Yeah. <laughs> I'm here, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, museum crazy. It, 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 it's been mentioned, it, it, they, they know who he is and uh, fair play to you mate, it was uh, fair cop with that one. But, well Paul's here, I'll, I'll, I'll do the vlogs like this with Paul. And you know Paul is a northern lad like me, there might be subtitles down here at some point during this trip. <laughs> but yeah, we're at the uh, Brooklyn's Museum, yes it is, and a, a, a museum, museum crazy. crazy vlog, it really is. And, well... We've sort of been in talks, and there might be a possible new channel on the way. Maybe two, no, what? actually. Well, one at the moment, in a, in a maybe a month or two. We haven't... It, honest to God, we, well, basically, Paul came down yesterday um, after work, and we're doing the Lift 109. Yes, back at Patterson. Patterson yes, it, Power Station. Yeah, yeah, looks good. Shopping centre crazy. Looks so, good. not another attraction, but the channel's never been about just visiting theme parks and stuff, has it, no, Paul? You've, you've always, watched for years, you've haven't always, you? You've always done multiple attractions. Yeah, so at least I've put it on the titles and stuff, and it does say that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like we're not having, a, I'm not having a go at anyone for anything that's been said, but I think I, 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 I'm able to put this as a separate on a separate channel. If people are interested, that's all I'm saying at the moment. So if you're try interested, it. try it. While in the close season, I can do these because, like, we're doing this today. I actually went to the British Motor Museum yesterday, but unfortunately, after talking to the manager, he said, Well, you're best to email ahead and get permission to film. So I just did some Insta stuff. So that would have been the second vlog featuring a museum and then an attraction this afternoon. So at least I'm getting out, we're getting out there to get content out, yeah, you know, yeah. the theme parks are closed or anything like that fun fairs and obviously other channels are not getting content at the moment but at least if you do attractions as well like i do you're covering everything so yeah we come to look at motor cars again and airplanes which you can hear because we're not far from heathrow and gatwick so uh yeah you're looking forward to it it's grim down south it, full, uh, full it, of soft, southern softies. do you know what it really is though isn't it <laughs> the, the weather's awful it is proper grim like the saying is Oh, it's grim up north, but it's not, is it? No. It's not. You, but, Friend, friendlier people up north. Yeah, but the south is nice. What have you thinking it so far? You're staying here in High Wickham tonight. Yeah, in a nice brand new Hilton. Hilton. Nice, yeah. Yeah, nice. no room tour. No room tour. No, definitely not. Room. Well, there was. You sent me some footage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smeg kettle you know and Smeg fridge in my room. Do you know what? New feature. Paul's review. You know when you're, you're in a posh hotel when you have a smeg kettle and fridge and a Samsung TV the size of a house. Right, so we're at the entrance. Uh, we're just having a giggle between us. But yeah, it's actually 24.20. So not, I don't know, not too bad, but it's still on the pricey side for people however if you book online which i should have done i'd do things last minute that's without a donation to... oh is it's it a voluntary donation of, of all ah, right without all oh, right so without the donation right so if you do the gift aid 24 20 you actually get a season pass that's what it is that's what you get with your gift aid normally it's a season pass so the carers are free so if you're disabled so that's happy days um ch children under five are free and i think they bring dogs because we've seen people with dogs in cars haven't we yeah so i might yeah. be able to bring tilly and come back with lisa yeah, so anyway. happy days but yeah let's uh, go check it out right so we're in the museum uh, brooklyn's museum if you don't know it's actually famous for being a motorsport venue uh, i'll try and get out this wind it is very windy hopefully the uh the, w the, the wind muff protection does its job but uh, yeah it used to be an RAF base as well so it had this oval track we might see it we've seen Top Gear and James May and all that sort of stuff they actually built the world's longest scale electric track around here so there might be something here about that because that was it was really good you know the, what they managed to achieve is incredible you also got Mercedes Benz World here as well which is I'm guessing that building here where you can drive Mercedes and stuff like that really cool experience and a bit of a museum in there as well which i've never done so another on. vlog put the map on another vlog for the uh, for the new channel if i do it but just let me know if you're interested if not 
I'll just keep it as it is because it's coast of crazy. There's no theme parks open, is there? Until no, it's February, rubbish. Until you can get back to the fairs. Get some and, theme parks open in winter. <laughs> yeah, or go and visit museums and, and, and keep the keep the uh, the country going by supporting these other attractions. So yeah, here's the map. Uh, we're here at the bottom. Oh God, it is windy, isn't it? Um, and the Buckland start your story. So there's a lot of probably like stuff to do with the RAF here. That's why the planes are here. You've got a Concorde experience that was six pound. Yeah. Apparently it takes half an hour. We just haven't got the time to do that. Dogs are not allowed. No. Unless it's assistance to guide dogs. So I can't come back with Tilly. I, 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 rubbish, but I'll get the, I've, got, I've got the experience on my own anyway. Not everyone's into aviation and stuff. Um, what was the other thing? Um, it's not gift aid. It doesn't include a, a season pass either, but it's all right. And it's 22 quid of what we paid each. Well, like I said, if I'd emailed ahead, I might have been able to get something for it, but I, I don't come to these places to get stuff for free. I, I like to pay my way, you know, it's the right way, isn't it? You pay for a season pass, fair enough, you pay for a season pass, but yeah, coming to somewhere like this, especially if it's a heritage museum, you don't want to um, <laughs> you don't want to be asking for stuff for free because I think it's a bit cheeky to be honest. But yeah, if you do like museums and stuff like this, of me looking through garage door windows at a Morris that eight, Morris, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, then yeah, it's not really your thing. But at least I'm I'm out I'm out doing stuff. Ah, it's really cool. There is a lot of content on YouTube at the moment from other content creators and some of them are proper knocking it out of the park at the minute aren't they yeah, yeah. like like two videos a day some channels it's insane so you've got to think of stuff to do but yeah like i said we'll go and have a look at the planes first and then i think these are just garages with like old racing cars and stuff in them so the tail i do cord. i know so we'll go and see the plane before he, the weather gets too bad although it looks all right at the moment um let's see what else there is i think there's an indoor section with some petty farthing oh god yeah i'm not i'm not into bikes but they've got a section of old british bikes in there um but inside the main hangar i think they've got like, buses and old victorian stuff i don't really know but i've never been before looks all right so we've already done a few have we been to um the one in dudley no, no. i forget the name of it Someone told me the black, last motor museum black, I went to was the, the black, black country in Leyland. Oh, you did Leyland. In my neck of the woods. Look at this, it's lovely, isn't it? Um, they do like really good um, events here. Like they do dressing up for like mods and rockers and stuff. That's that's like a, a, a where they where the checker flag out, or isn't it? Yeah, yeah, grandstand yeah. type yeah. thing. Yeah. So it used to be a, like a, a racing track. So this is why. Oh wow, Paul. No food allowed. Put your burger away, your Mackies and your, and your Starbucks. Oh yeah, thanks to Paul. Um, another idea I might do, because he bought me a Starbucks this morning, I might do the start, buy me a coffee thing that people are doing. What's that? People give you money for a coffee. That's what it is. <laughs> like I did this morning. Yeah, like you did this morning to Starbucks, yeah. Uh, Beaconsfield, one of the best. Oh God, what's the first thing you notice when you come in here? smell the smell of engine what oil. engine oil it's amazing isn't it yeah, yeah. if you're a bloke oh is it all oh, right we'll go straight through here then paul here you go there should be there should be warnings in here don't don't smell too much because you'll you'll get really high yeah it's like i used to build um airfix models as a kid yes and i never knew this at the time but we used to be getting high off the fumes I, from I the paint and the... deliberately sniffed it oh god yeah i didn't go that far but yeah something that you would know about me i might have mentioned the airfix when i went to hornby hobbies but Campbell. wow yeah well yeah i used to get high off the, the fumes from making up model airplanes <laughs> so i'd never go i'd never go for school the next day and i never realized until you're a bit older yeah yeah yeah. don't do airfix models I'll try not to it's bad <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that Paul, you can't be bothered taking pictures. I'll be taking a few, although I've not taken any yet. This is a great view now, if you're into aviation. So you got this bridge. What's that, Andy? I'm not sure yet, because I don't think the wings are attached, so I can't tell what engines and stuff they are, mate. <laughs> I can't really normally tell from just that bit just the on that plane. Fuselage. The, just the fuselage, no, that's right. They do have the Concorde here as well. That is awesome. It's amazing. Yeah, I like the fact there's nothing there's nothing sat here to spoil the view. 
So first picture of the day will be Concorde. Again, comment down below. Did you ever fly on Concorde? I never. Would have loved to have done that. That would have been amazing. What an experience getting to New York in three hours. I think we think it was three hours, don't we? Something like that. I I think, think, yeah, and it's about six now to get from Heathrow or Paris to to New York. Oh, they've even got the lights going on it as well. All the lights and everything are on it. I still haven't got my camera open yet. But uh, yeah, I'll get this shot. I'll take a couple of pictures. In fact, I can do my thumbnail now, car. Because I've got a camera in my hand. So uh, yeah, I don't know, something like that. Brooklyn's. The lighting's not great though. That's probably my thumbnail. But yeah, you can go in Concord for six pound, but it's a half an hour experience walking through and we just haven't I've got the time. 1,353 yeah, miles Yeah, hour. we're geeking out. It's a bit fast, that, isn't it? Yeah, it goes, yeah, 1,350 1, miles an hour. Um, just in, incredible, 1969. You get a ticket at the M1 for that <laughs> one. <you? laughs> 1969 it was, the first flight of Concorde. And just look at that, sort of how sleek it is as well. And you probably have already turned off the vlog, I don't really know by now, but the people that will watch would, would, would you know, I, w I would have loved to have gone on Concorde, I really would. Like, to be able to get to New York in a couple of hours rather than six hours, I just think it's insane. I can get another picture here as well. I don't know, something like, something like that. But yeah, cool. How awesome is that, Paul? <laughs> it, still, it still looks futuristic now. I know, and why have they never done it since? We've Funny. been to, again talking about this. Cost. Why have they never been to the moon since? Because we never went in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of pu purists that say th this stuff about going to the moon and stuff. I don't know. I don't a lot know. of people say it was filmed on a set in Hollywood and they just wanted to do it just to make sure that nobody got to the moon first. And you know what I mean? There's a lot of stuff in it and we don't really know. But with Concorde, obviously, it ended its life after a tragic accident in Paris. One took off and something caught fire so it just wasn't right with it so it had fallen we don't really know then it, it was never it was, it was, was it a bit of metal it was the tire it? it hit something that had come off another plane yeah and then it metal. yeah and then it went up into and the, the engine burst and, got, and it caught the engine it, caught and obviously yeah and yeah and then yeah well. awful so they just grounded them all well i think they know they flew in for a few years after yeah, and then they grounded them while, yeah. oh man it's massive as well being underneath it it's like a space rocket it's insane well, these amazing delta wings, that's what they call them on here. So they're not like wings off the side like a plane over there, like the VC-10 there, not, it which is the same wide, as it? It that. Look, eh? look that wide. It is really wide, dude. I it's about, what, 40 metres? I think the wingspan would be wider. 30 metres, I think, wingspan on that. Ah, oh, it's mad, isn't it, that? Being stood underneath this, that would have been in the sky doing Imagine nearly... The engines are running, though. Yeah, just a a wide, 1,300 mile, mile an hour. Very nice. Olympus 593. There's the engine, what, one of four engines? So the engine was first running Bristol in 1950. Oh my God. That's insane. Oh well, yeah, you know they had jet fighter planes in the World War II, so yeah, and then like the 30s and 40s, they had jet, jet engines there. Because Rolls-Royce were doing all though that's basically what they started building i yeah, think they might have been something four, else Forty thousand pound static thrust wow yeah insane i bet they've all switched off now it's a bit boring for people we're not going on roller coasters right so we just found the uh, the site for the rest of the aircraft they've got here and yeah so i was trying to work it out when the airport or the strip opened but it didn't actually say but we reckon 1915 because Vickers, which is a huge British manufacturer at the time, built aeroplanes, so they needed somewhere to build them, obviously. So this is a picture that was taken in the 1960s of the racetrack, which you can just see around the outskirts. But if you look here, it's got a massive, huge factory in the way. So obviously they needed the space to have the uh, Vickers company here to build the planes back then when aviation was a big thing and people wanted to go on holiday uh, so they had to build them in the uk that's it was a british company so they closed already the racetrack in the 60s and turned it into a 
to what it is now. Like, uh, well, I don't think the fact that fact is still there because you got Mercedes Benz World and stuff around here. But yeah, crazy that, isn't it? Like, how they just turned an old racetrack into because it wasn't popular back then. It was it all went into touring cars and Formula One, so people weren't watching. There's the track there. You can just see the banking for it. Yeah. At the back, it's all covered in grass. But it's basically it was basically a do you know like on the M25 when you go further down and it goes from nice silky tarmac to the concrete slabs yeah. that's what they are <laughs> imagine driving at 80 to 100 mile an hour in an old car fast, like we've just seen that. faster than that 120 mile an hour on a bank curve it must have been so dangerous it's just insane but yeah planes here they're not really my sort i, I like um aviation obviously but i'm not really into like commercial jets and things i like the the military stuff that was more my thing because i joined the air cadets as a kid as i said before uh, my uncle peter was in the air cadets and he was into aviation and one of my other uncles used to build air fix models as well uh, so these obviously with a passenger plane this is vc10 and then the raf used them once they come out of service the raf started to use them for uh, for tankers oil tank uh, like jet jet tankers filling up the, t uh, the the jets so you got a couple of stuff around here uh and then you've got the bus museum over there and then we'll sort of maybe start walking back because yeah there's for an avid aviation geek like myself this is not really i, I prefer to go to an rf museum or duxford but uh, apparently in the summer they do some really nice events here like i said they do like mods and rocker weekends and i think it's here or is that at goodwood no and that's goodwood isn't it goodwood revival ah, right. so they don't do that here so i have got some facts wrong today <laughs> this is a nice plane these i do like window. that there needs a new window it does doesn't it yeah it's not other than the Concorde, it's not worth coming here for, I don't think, for the aviation stuff. Which is a shame, really. I don't know. If you're an avgate like me, yeah, dude, you want to see a Hercules or a Vulcan like or something. But yeah, you, you've never done museums like this before, have you not? Couple, but not, not. But you're having a good time walking around, looking at stuff just, and learning. Just looking at that, though, it's just yeah. awesome, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's what it's about, isn't it? Learning stuff. So yeah, this second channel that I might be doing will be called... Uh, right, I'm gonna have to think because like I'm, I'm quite tired. I, I didn't I didn't sleep well last night. But yeah, Museum Madness will be the name of the channel. And Paul always said, "Well, I thought you'd keep the crazy part, but no, it's an all separate channel. It's it's Museum." Comment Madness. like down below what you think. <laughs> I think you should do Museum Crazy and keep the crazy name. But no, well, it doesn't match, does it? I want something then I can make a logo and it's MM Museum yeah, Madness. Yeah. So it, it, you know. What do you think? I don't know. It's just an idea I'm toying with. Is it worth me doing a second channel? I've been thinking about it for years and it's not just because um, I've just come up with it now and thought, oh yeah, I'll start another channel or rebrand or anything. It's nothing to do with that. It really isn't. The logo I've used currently now, the new one, I actually designed that in February last year. I've got a picture of it when I screenshot it when I, once I made it. So do you want to go look at the buses? Yeah, well, why not? you all London the <laughs> Yeah, I think you can go in the back end of that and look. Some geezers just got up the uh, just got up the uh, the, the back end <laughs> without being too rude. So I think you can go in this one. Hey up! You got a ticket, pal? <laughs> this will be fun with a GoPro in my hand. Yeah, I mean even doing like aviation stuff like. Noel Phillip is another big YouTuber I watch and all he does is filming himself on a plane going somewhere and he's actually just sold his house and moved to America because he makes so much money on YouTube what a great life but yeah this is one one of the old planes why am I out of breath just walking up them stairs but yeah just imagine boarding a plane from the back end why not there's nothing down there Be, uh, but yeah yeah, Br British Airways, BAC 111. It's not very big. But this is the sort of plane that would fly you to Mallorca or somewhere. Get, get a shot of the cabin. Yeah, I bet you've been on a few like this. <laughs>
More like if you was your parents in the 50s, oh, they would have yeah. gone to like Mallorca and places on one of these, a little plane. Enjoy the morning. It's yeah. like a yeah. British Airways. Uh, yeah. Look, you've already got like lovely. Uh, uh, How are you doing? Where, where would this plane would normally have flown to? Do you know? Uh, all over Europe mostly. Um, all over Europe? Yeah. So, like, what places in Spain and stuff? Like all, Mallorca and that? All places, um, Mallorca, um, Ibiza, Menorca. Um, all, all, it would be we would have gone all over the place, but this was actually not an airline airplane. It was a it was a Vickers. B, we mostly came um, Vickers also, but also came from Hawker Sydney. Is this, is this which open? Was base. Uh, no, it isn't. It. We're not allowed to go any uh, further. No, oh. it's, only, it's only because this is so small in there. I've got no zoom. I've and, got no zoom on me GoPro. When when we, when the children get in there, we can't get them out again. So oh. we don't take off, mate. <laughs> I I could fly this. Tell you what, I, what 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 were you doing last night? Tell the viewers. Round at my house. Oh, we... on, the, on the Quest 2. On the Quest 2, how good is it? Really good. How good is that flying game? Yeah, yeah. I bought a oh, flying game, I got virtual reality. And I am so good at it. I didn't I didn't crash. I played it for about an hour last night. I didn't get crash better, once. Get better it was an old better. World War One one. Yeah. So basically with your headset and you got you can see your hands, you grab your like your joystick and your throttles on down here and you're just flying around looking at planes, shooting them, it's amazing. I'm not into Get one. I'm not into gaming. Get one. Like anyway, we'll have a chat with this geezer. Yeah. Right, well all of these years of going to theme parks and doing everything that I normally do, I never thought I'd be we'd be stood underneath Concord vlogging because it's chucking it down. Concord still has its usages. It really does, yeah. How informative was that guy, Jeff, our new mate? Jeff was brilliant. We got his number and everything. He used to be a pilot. So Fly, flying for over sixty years. No, thirty odd years. He flew. Oh, sorry, yeah, sixty. Yeah. So oh, it might be sixty odd years because what was he, he said? He said he was seventy eight, didn't he? Seventy eight. So yeah, and he, and he retired in two thousand and nine. Yeah. Wow. And then he just volunteers here because he's got, how many? How many? I was, probably stu his board stuck on with his missus nagging him. Flat. Oh, yeah, yeah. thousands, 120 odd thousand hours flying time, like incredible. We could have stood with him for an hour, but we have, we've got to go because he needs a toilet and we've got to go to um, to London, mate, haven't we? Battersea. Battersea, Battersea Power Station to go to the lift. No, we're not with that tour, sorry. Yeah, but no, no, we're just getting out of the rain. Yeah, just out of the rain, we'll, we'll get back off the, uh, <laughs> on a minute. Where's the nearest toilet at, mate? That door. Never hurts to ask. Yeah. On the right, just so you can see the, the yellow ball. Yeah, just, yeah. In, just there. in there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very, uh, very helpful staff here. We found. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But I'm just saying, you're very helpful. Uh, you've got the British Airways bus there that would take you out to. Pla oh my God! No, forget it. Forget it. It's too bad. You can see it's coming from over there. It's going to be. All yeah, it'll be clear. Yeah, yeah, in a minute. Well, I'm going to ditch the way, mate. Well, you got to risk it for a biscuit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, go for it then. I'm not. I'm still wearing shorts. What an idiot. Right, so we pegged it, didn't we? From the Concord to the toilet, which stinks. Uh, yeah. Something that's not very nice in there. It, it proper honks. But yeah, the toilet, so they're, they're quite clean, but the, it's, we think the drainage because it's a lot of water here. Chucking it down. Anyway, we've got, anyway, they didn't click to see that, did they? Toilet reviews. <laughs> We came to see this and the Harrier, of course, over there. I'm not quite. I've not read any of the information about that yet, so I don't know what that is. Because, like I said, I'm not into all planes. Does it say? But we. I want to show you this down here because that's fascinating. There's volunteers there. Wow. Oh wow. So, so who was Charles Lindbergh then? Who was he? The famous. He was the, he was the one that did it the first solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean. So right. You might have heard, I did say Charles Lindbergh, didn't yeah. I? Theme park connection, so it's current. Yeah, so current. It's yeah. current. But this one here did, a t did, the, um, did it about 10 years earlier, the first flight. Wow. The difference between the, the solo one and the non-stop flight, the first one, the, the non-stop flight one was the first ever flight anywhere from America all the way Wow, to insane. The to Europe, so. Oh, thank you very much. So this is a Vickers British built plane. So we. So this was before Charles Lindbergh. Yeah. So right. we did flying before everyone. Yes. Wow. So what, did they meet with the Wright brothers then? Yes, the Wright brothers did the first flight talk in 1903. But they were they British or American? They were German. Oh well, it, German uh, technology it for you. Still better than Americans, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against Americans because we love Florida and everything else. But yeah, thank you for the info while it's chalking it down. Absolutely. Yeah, basically want to show people over here that's really fascinating. 
See, I'm into everything, I really am. That's why I can visit stuff like this and be fascinated by it. It's current, which means it's got something to do with the channel that this is on at the moment. So anyone who's been to Fantasia land recently, and I did say that weird because I've just bent down all, my, <laughs> all the air in my lung. <sighs> so Fantasia land, you've been to see Fly, you've been on Fly, and the hotel, the area is Charles Lindbergh. It's based on a real thing, which for me gets me more excited than some IP that's based off a movie. So Christopher Christopher Columbus yeah. sailed across the Atlantic in, in 70, 70 days. days. So that's the first 1492. one. 1492. Yeah, 1492. The other thing that's fascinating as well with me, I love anything to do with the Titanic, the film, everything. I need to get to Belfast because I want to visit the uh, Titanic Museum. So that sunk. Uh, four days into its into its voyage to New York and then sank we know yes. on its maiden voyage it's Vickers Vimy yeah. which, what, which one's that one then did it in 15 oh, hours Vimy. 57 minutes oh my god yeah Must so the plane backwards yeah so the plane that's here uh, yeah 15 hours to get from Newfoundland in Canada so Newfoundland's here so, so yeah that, 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 yeah there's the plane the pink one so yeah from there here to in Ireland, yeah, in fifth, what was it, 54 hours? Yeah, in 1990, 15 hours, sorry, but uh, the hours. Harrier, five hours, which is here, that six hours, 557. From where was it from New York to London, five hours, sorry, and the Concorde, we, we weren't far off when we two said hours two hours, 53. two hours 53, so we, was at, we were an hour off. Oh, oh, what I said, what's it taking? What's it six, uh, about six hours. Uh, New York to Glasgow, so five hours for a standard plane. Yeah, aircraft. It's the same as in 1979. Yeah, the VC-10, there's one we'd walk past that and that's over there as well. So yeah, there's current things, Charles Lindbergh, yeah, who's actually flew from New York to Paris. So yeah, famous aviator. I think he was German, I think. It's got to be, on it? 30 minutes. He must have gone yeah. the long way around. I think that's one of the longest, isn't it? Other than the Christopher Columbus, but yeah something current and fascinating at the same time who's ready to get wet i'm not right so we've got to make this quick because we haven't got the time now there is actually quite a few hangars left to visit there's one over there with aircraft in it this one's got bombs and this tunnel and i walked it straight away and i'd like just yeah what is it and it's a it's a pressure chamber so you basically have your wind tunnels. Obviously, when you design a plane or an aircraft like the one that's in there that you can see now I've moved, you, you can actually walk into it, to be honest. They have wind tunnels to work out the aerodynamics and stuff like that. But I didn't realize until we spoke to the young lad there who's actually got a PhD, or he's going to be a doctor, he's only 23, um, told me what it was. And yeah, it's a pressure chamber. So what they do is, this is, the, this is actually the door this is an original piece. It was been here since the 60s. And it was actually testing it for supersonic flight. And I'll probably sound really echoing here. That's the door for it. So all that slides on these rails down here. It's current, it's got wheels, it's got a track. Is it a coaster cred? Yeah. Is it a coaster cred, that door? The door for this. Is, look, it's on tracks, isn't it? If you sat on it. But has got a lift it. No, it hasn't. It's a cred, it's not. But yeah, it's a pressure chamber. So they, they close the door and suck all the air, all the fans there literally suck all the air out of here to test the windows and stuff uh, for the pressure. That's basically what this is. And look at the size of it. It's got a plane in here. Just a small section, obviously, but it's all strapped up with the ratchet straps and the chains and the block up the top. So, fascinating. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I took my glasses off as well because it's chucking it down outside. But yeah, I hope you do like the new channel logo. I am thinking about making, maybe making another channel and there's something else we'll mention in the next vlog, if I remember what. Bouncy bomb over Oh, there. you're joking, dude. It is, isn't it now, isn't it? You're on the telly. <laughs> the doctor, the what's his name? I'm Matthew. Matthew. You got a PhD, you said. Oh, I'm doing Oh, this. he's doing the PhD. Uh, doing yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's not sat up a towel crane for 10 hours a day. But he probably would like to do that. Operate tower cranes for a living. He's just told Paul that that's one, is it one of the ones that these they used? These are all prototypes. Oh, so this one was never used? 
They were used. This they were recently recovered. This one uh, from, what, the from the in Scotland. Oh, uh, well, from where the dam was. Uh, no, no. So these weren't. These were concrete. So the, right. They so these are prototype, and they used them somewhere else without yes. people. That, right. I've got you. Yeah. They yeah, dropped yeah. them in. Uh, wow. Uh, we used them just filled with concrete to bring them up to weight. Really? What were the weight of them? I think this one was 600 kilos. 600k? 270. Oh my that was god. Three tons. Oh my god. That's just that wow. thing here. Three tons. Solid steel is the same weight as a Land Rover. Well, I mean, actually, mm. that is. Yes. Land Rovers are heavy. Don't buy a Land Rover. Mm. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> 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 we know someone that likes Land Rovers and the. So Mm. They're a money pit, basically. Where, where did you test them? That's uh, yeah, that's insane. Them in a of places, so so yeah, I'll first tell you about the dam buster. So yeah, this is a Lancaster bomber with a very famous World War II plane, and one of the things they wanted to do was destroy this dam. As so you've heard of the dam busters, so this was the, uh, the 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 thing that they used. Well, this is basically this. They've obviously recovered it from where they dropped it, hung underneath the plane. As the plane's flying along, it drops the. The, the ball at the bottom underneath it and it's obviously with the speed it's going they just bounced along the water and hit a dam and blew it up or oh, they smashed it yeah look at this one here oh it's a great picture shame about the reflection but yeah they, it shows you the, what they went and blew up like dams in Amsterdam to obviously try and get the water down into Germany from that direction obviously we know about uh, Belgium uh, there, there was a lot of flooding in Belgium, uh, the parks over there, theme parks, uh, Wallaby Belgium was all under water, you know, there was a lot of rivers and lakes over there, so this one of the things they came up with, the bouncing ball, or the high ball at the time it was called, here's all the stuff for it, right, crazy, so yeah, if you are into aircraft and museums and engines and bombs, this is where we need to be, but we need to get through it quick, because we need to leave in five minutes, literally, um, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to get this bit in quick. There's some engines down here. Like, there's a test wind tunnel, that was I just mentioned to you, about aerodynamics, if you can see that. You can just about see it. So a fan would be blowing on that to test for that. And there's some engines. Well, this thing here, again, I, I could stand and chat for half an hour chatting to someone, because that's what I do. <laughs> I'm chatting to you, watching this. At the moment, I know so much stuff. I'm interested in so many things. There's not a lot of attractions and places that I've been that I haven't enjoyed going to. So, yeah, I've always got pretty much something planned to do. And I did mention that I wasn't happy at the moment. Ah, I can't see anything in there. But the door's open, though. Um, that I was thinking of cutting back on the channel. No, I'm not quitting the channel. The channel's not going anywhere because it does me okay. I'm all right with it. It's not enough where I'm at a stage where I could quit my job and earn off YouTube, which a fair play to people that do do that because it's one hell of an experience to get paid to travel the world. Unless you pay for it yourself and it's still really expensive. But yeah, it's that's what I want to do, but I can't do that. But doing this in the close season, visiting these museums and attractions that nobody else in this community that likes fun fairs and theme parks would never even would even dreamed of coming here for a day out but i've done it and i've shown you guys what's here if you want to come the hornby's hobby video is the best video i uploaded in 2022 it's over nearly 12,000 views on that so uh, yeah you see me walk past a load of stuff i'm not that interested in yes i do like cars and planes and trains i'm not into the engines that much i don't really know much about engines I know stuff about Mini Coopers and Minis because I've had five of them and scooters, Vespers, I could change a Vesper engine and fix that but uh, there's an over overlay here with the planes and the track but yeah you can see the track why I mean why did they need to build that so far like in they could they could have gone over there with that and kept the track I, we haven't even seen the track today so we're not gonna have time but here's the back of the door that is unbelievable is that Oh wow, look at that. The plant room. Wow, that's insane. Oh, what, what used to go in there? It looks like a fuel rod from a power station. We've got all these engines in here. Apparently there's an old crane somewhere that used to uh, pick up harriers off the ground. 
Sorry, my hand's in the way. I, to, I, I still need to learn to do that to keep the uh, camera away from the GoPro when I'm taking pictures. Well, yeah, that's that's insane. So what I stood in before where the where the plane is. This is the door. This is what rolls. And I was saying, is it a coaster cred or not? But yeah, it's basically the. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the engine, this must be the engine part that blows, or sorry, sucks. Or it can't do because the fans are on the other end, but either way, it sucks or blows air out of it. That's amazing. Look at the floor. It's all, it's a massive concrete slab. That's insane. Oh, I'm getting dripped on. <laughs> There's a leak. There's a leak up there. But yeah, the massive, sat on this massive concrete block that's obviously foundated into the ground with more concrete and this whole area must have taken ages to build and you've got this massive solid door look at the gearing and cogs and stuff inside there all the bracing for it that's insane and then obviously it's on these massive wheels and it gets pushed along the track like a coaster it's current there you go, that's another channel name what well, about well, that one? it's current but no if, if you are seriously keen on the idea of me actually starting a second channel or even a third channel because I could easily do attractions and I've got the name for that one as well so the museum um, channel will be called Museum Madness and the attractions vlog now I've got to get this right because I did change it I did think of one name when I changed it but then I couldn't remember what I changed it to so it's not yeah I'm here dude Oh wow, you need to just knit around there and see the back of this door, it's incredible. So that's, so where, so did it, it obviously sucked air out of this chamber, mm -hmm. so which part sucked it out? Because I went inside and you can see the fans, but that door looks like a, something out of a NASA would build. Go and have a look at it, Paul. In the uh, area in front of the door, that was the plant room, so that's where they had all the air compressors, that's where they sucked the air out. Right. And they also had a cooling system, so they could also bring the temperature down to further simulate high altitude. Wow, really? Wow, so that's insane. I believe it could get to negative 60 Celsius inside. Oh my God. And What's it in Fahrenheit? Oh, I can't do the conversion in my uh, head. <laughs> for the Americans, no one does Fahrenheit your, your Celsius. Ma your Mach 5 wind tunnel speed. Is it? 3,800 miles per hour. But yeah, look at that door. Doesn't it look like the back of a spaceship? It looks like somewhere out of the Kennedy It's insane, and it? yeah. it's something George Lucas must have come here on a day trip and gone, mm. I know what my next film's going to be. Star yes. Wars. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It's insane. That yeah, looks like. I know we need to go, but yeah. It's been th thank yeah. you very much. One last question: mm -hmm. How much does that door weigh? Hundred tons. Oof, my God. The entire chamber was four hundred, and uh, they actually moved it into position. Oh my God! So they launched it like a submarine. Uh, if you look here, we are here right now. So that's standing. So that's uh, where they've obviously built it, and then they launched they, it into it. They moved it into position like a submarine. Oh my god. It was made by the Vickers branch of, well, the Vickers submarine branch. Yeah, there you go. Oh, 270 yeah, tons. Yeah, been there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. So that's the weight of the whole thing, the the, this whole... The metal structure, not including the cladding around it. Oh, it's cladded as well. Oh my god. That, I would... That's insulation. Yeah, that's yes. what it... <laughs> yeah, that's what it would look like without the cladding on it. But yeah, thank you very much, no uh, Matthew, for no talking to Paul for uh, about half an hour, no, <laughs> like we said. But yeah, thank you very much. Thank where, you where, where do, your, uh, yeah, university. Yeah. And Enjoy your trip to uh, what was it again? Battersea. Battersea. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. If we ever, if we, if we have a slip up now and break our ankles, you're the guy to come and see. <laughs> Not that kind of doctor, mate. Not that. Oh right. Okay. Okay. Right. No Good worries. Luck. But nice to see you. Thank you very much. There you go, it always helps to talk to people that work here. He's probably a volunteer as well. Probably just does it on the side because he's got nothing else to do. Come and stand in a massive room with a 270 ton turbine in it. So yeah, that was awesome. But yeah, it, as you can see, it's raining. I think the well, best thing to do is just get to the car and wrap up the vlog. There is a lot more we haven't seen oh, here. Yeah, we could spend hours so here. I'm going to have to come back again. I'll send him an email. That's what I'll do. <laughs> I'll come in the summer. Well, yeah, we'll get to the car. I'll see you in a bit. Right, we're leaving. God, this weather is awful. Uh, I'm actually getting Paul to reverse my car back because some idiot parked in a puddle that obviously wasn't there before. Thanks for that, Paul. How short are your legs? Well, I've got good trainers on that are 
soaking wet, but look how deep this puddle is. That's not a puddle, it's a pond. Pond crazy. So I'll just get in the car, we'll go and pull up somewhere quick or we'll maybe talk about it on the way while I'm driving because we've got to get to uh, Battersea now. How wet have we just got? I know, soaked. Right, I have to make this very brief because I just put in the sat nav. It's got to take us an hour and seven minutes to get to Battersea, and our uh, time slot is twenty past one for the for the lift. So we need to go, and I need to wrap up. Basically, I've just picked up this. I asked if there was a rainy day pass because we missed half of it, and we have to go anyway. No rainy day pass. However, if I paid like another twenty quid, I can get a season pass for a year, which is fifty six pound. I th I don't know, I think that might be a bit steep for a season pass. What they should do is, is like most other museums, because there wasn't a great deal there, and we didn't miss that much. Maybe just the buses, yeah, and there was another hangar. It's but the it's information a, you can get from the volunteers. It is, yeah, we were there for hours just talking yeah, to yeah. people. Really, really fascinating, if you're into that sort of stuff, cars and planes. But yeah, they should do the gift aid where it's included, and you can come back again, because not everyone comes back five or six times a year mm -hmm. anyway. I probably would have come back again in the summer with Tilly, if dogs were allowed. If not, I'm going to to come back on my own and do that as well but there is other museums and things in the area you've got mercedes-benz world here there's an attraction in there like i said you can drive cars and stuff i don't know what that is but i will contact mercedes-benz about that and that's what the channel's got to be about basically yeah so um wherever i go i'm going to try and make it official yes i couldn't film at the british moat museum at the time because they've got a policy with people walking around in cameras but yeah i hope you enjoyed the vlog do you enjoy your rainy we're soaked by the way so it yeah, got drenched just then but yeah fascinating place i'd like to spend longer there because it's just there's so much information like the bouncing bomb and all that oh god yeah stuff. you never knew and it was 23 the amount of stuff that that guy knows yeah. he's like the next stephen hawking he really is that's the sort of <laughs> guy he was a proper nerd like yeah, he knows his stuff yeah. like you know and i said you should join the raf and uh you you know you got a fascinated issue with aircraft he said oh no actually my uh my uh phd and all that my uh my thing is into science oh all sorts of, i don't even know what he said it was retro well, we need to get going. something or other anyway we're gonna have to go but uh yeah i hope you've enjoyed this vlog don't forget to uh it's here on the side comments like I'll, I'll get there in the end but it, it it's there do that please and uh yeah click the notification bell for next time we'll upload another video and i'll see you in the next one which will be from battersea park battersea power station even lift one on night if we can get there so we'll see you in about an hour bye, bye for, for now, now.